limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a. That's one definition of the derivative. Another definition of the derivative is limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Both of these things are the same. They both explain what a derivative is and are like theorems that we use to find a derivative. We'll tackle this one first and explain why this is true. Then afterwards, we'll tackle this. OK, let's take it back to um, high school math. When you try to find a slope between two points, what do you do? You do rise over run. Let's say you have a curve like this. You have a point here labeled A. And you have another point out here labeled X. When we wanted to find slopes between two points, we'd easily do rise over run. So the y coordinate for this point A would be f of A. And for here, the x would be f of x. To find the slope, we'd have f of x minus f of a over x minus a. What we found here matches our understanding of this right here. It's the same exact thing. But however, this only gives us, this gives us the slope between these two points. So this is an average rate of change. It is not instantaneous, it is not at a single point. When we talk about derivative, we're talking about slope at a specific point. So in order to make this one specific point, we want to converge this point so that it comes closer and closer and closer and closer and essentially is the same point as A. That's when we take the limit. So we want the limit as x approaches A of f of x minus f of A over x minus A. This right here is your definition of the derivative. It is simply rise or run. However, we are making the two points converge into one, and thus we get the slope at a specific point. Not too bad. The second definition of the derivative is very similar. However, we just use different terms. Let me write it out again. The limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So let's have the same curve we had earlier, something like this. You have your point x here. And then far off, you have another point we'll label it x plus h. Here, the x plus h, the h only identifies the distance away from x it is. So you don't have to worry much about it. And now, once again, slopes is just a rise of a run. So the change, the change in y minus the, over the change in x. The, change, the, the y coordinate for x here is f of x. The y coordinate for this point here is f of x plus h. So, to find the slope between these two points, which is the slope of the secant line, we have f of x plus h minus f of x over x plus h minus x. Here, you can simplify this further because these x's cancel out. Thus, we get f of x plus h minus f of x over h. What we have here is not the, der the, uh, the derivative. However, 
it is this piece of the definition that we know. f of x plus h minus f of x over h. f of x plus h minus f of x over h. What we found, again, is the average rate of change between these two points. But instead, we want instantaneous. We want it specifically at this point x. Once again, we do the same thing as we did before. We make these two points converge to 1. So in order to make them converge to 1, we'd make h approach 0. As h approaches 0, this number becomes infinitely close to x and is essentially the same point. So the limit as h approaches 0 of m of x plus h minus f of x over h provides us the slope at the specific point of x. Thus, you have your definitions of the derivative here, both laid out. Limit as x approaches a of x, of x minus f of a over x minus a. These both say the same thing, and they just define what a derivative is. The slope at a specific point. Thank you.